My first introduction to music was an off-white recorder I was given by my music teacher in 1999. Today I produce, make and write hit records for my life. I mean literally for my life. So I started the Feel Good Life sessions to create a bridge between the studio and the stage. I got too much songs. You are what I go. So I make them fall. Go ahead, tell them all. To give fans an intimate sneak peek into their favorite musical journeys. I mean, most of us are independent anyway, so why not celebrate our independence? Please have all phones on silent, please. I'm in flight mode. Uh, for silent, whichever one works best. If your battery's dead, that's great. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start now. Phones on silent or flight mode. Is that what your phone switches off like? Get a new fucking phone. Bump the cheeser. What the fuck is that? Bump the cheeser. The Feel Good Life sessions was important because we didn't have anything like this. We didn't have a, a platform for artists to express themselves. We didn't have a platform for artists to have their music and lyrics decoded and listened to attentively. Neither did we have a platform where we could express, you know, deep inside how we feel about our own careers and how we want to approach our own fans. Yeah. Yeah. Baby, I, I promise to take care of your poor heart, even on weekends and your days off for all. Oh, oh, oh. I wanted to create a bridge between the studio and the stage. Often as artists we find ourselves in a void where we don't know where we're going. Like we make music in the studio because it's music you personally feel like you need to make. And then you need to take it to the stage and perform it for the people because they have chosen the song that they deem to be a hit and uh because you know we don't get to express our our, our our songs or get to perform our entire albums sometimes there might be great music on your album that gets overshadowed by like the singles or whatever and we needed to create a, a platform that filled that void where you finish a song in the studio and perform it to the crowd but this one here where you want to tell more say more have a bigger impact with the other songs that you have than both these other fields it was a question of frustration, it was a question of desperation, but also it was a question of the ability to feel vulnerable for an artist and to find your vulnerable space. And that led to the birth of the Feel Good Life Sessions. You know, thank my band, Ira from Nigeria. Amazing, man. I work with international. What you talking about? <laughs> international people out here, man. You know, um, there's my boy Osses also, all the way from Nigeria too. You know, and he's from Eldos, as you can see. Ah, I'm kidding. I'ma do whatever I can. Need you to understand. I'm nothing like what you had. I'm nothing like what you have here. If you can give. Promise to love you particularly just to the way you need Put your heart Most music is produced uh, on computer and using software, fruity loops and stuff. It's, uh, it's generated and, and a lot sounds the same. And the uh, refreshing part is uh, Feel Good Live sessions are performed by real musicians with um, instruments. We use electronic instruments, it's not acoustic. Um, but uh, this is real, there's no rehearsal, there's no edits, it's one shot. You gotta get it right. Just about how life can get just too much, you know, like always thinking about things that, you know, can hold you back from what you're trying to do, you know, always like struggles and stuff, you know, so it can get very like crazy, especially in your head, because sometimes we don't like to vocalize things, so too much. Featuring Ricky Rick, but just me too. Hey, 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 I got an album called Girls, 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 Girls All Over the World. I got you. The best part for me about the Feel Good Live sessions is the fact that you're hearing artists 
perform this song stripped down now it's like not it's not got a backing track it's not got supported vocals you hear the artist deliver the song with a more natural vibe and like like if you heard Shikana's episode 4 when she started with that that Snoop Dogg cover Gin and Juice and she sang it and it was like with so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being Snoop D or Double G. But somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass shit like every single day. May I? Recording filled with live sessions is like a cool, it's a cool alternative to studio. It's like putting the studio outside on the stage. So that's what I like about it the most because now I'm bringing everything that I've only used in the studio, like the computer, the sound card, and, every, and my, even the mics, the whole aesthetic of the microphones. I'm using studio microphones instead of the usual handheld live microphones and then and then from there we are on location shooting the show yeah i'm really close to my dream i be bang and and ever my dj but some is that see what you feel but tell them i'm a believer long walks not a boy right now i don't know What's going on in the background? What's going on in the background? Why is some playing 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 in the background? Why is some This is ladies, this is ladies and gentlemen. Feel good music, feel good music. Yeah. It is not denial, it's the perfect yeah. story. Yeah. 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 So we had a bit of a problem with um with like delays, but it's been it's almost, it's actually perfect that it happened like this. I'll tell you if I'm in no my end. One more time, I'll know my impact. I'll get to try to put to my little nana. Yeah, Tina, some shy. Some things people might feel have been delayed that I should have gone earlier or whatever. But delay is not denied. Get a delay. But it was not denied. We did the song. Yeah, we did the thing. How we feel? Yeah, how we feel? How we feel? It's a platform that I feel artists have been looking for where, you know, there's freedom, you know, artist, art is, is a very free uh, type of uh, uh, way of living or a career. Uh, so a lot of artists, they feel very limited in terms of how they can connect with their fans. You know, we feel good live sessions. The artist gets to connect like very much in an intimate way to give artists that type of freedom. You know, they're allowed to, to say whatever they, they feel uh, at that moment. Do you want to give me my voice over voice or what? How do you want to go? Some of are Zamba. Zamba. The food is a little
Hi everybody, this is your girl Lucy. You like it when He's the reason behind the club. The boys. I'm with my like, I need to tell them just how I feel. It's been a while. Can you be my Superman? Even the space where the music comes from now is so different. Respect and protect our ladies, guys. I, I just had to. I'm sorry. You're gonna lose me. Yeah. Uh, feel good live sessions is a, it's it's art on an online platform. You take all the different elements of of art in terms of the light. I mean, even something as small as the sun is one of those things that we have to wait for. We have to wait for the sun to give us that golden hour. We have to wait till a certain time. Artists sometimes don't understand. We say no. We're actually, waiting for God to come through. Shout out to God. So um, all these little different artistic elements between creatives, they make sense to them and their role in Feel Good Live. And when they come together, it creates one holistic piece of art that's actually shifting the culture. It's shifting the culture because we're taking it online. We're not, we're not adapting to traditional media and the rules at play in traditional media. You give the artist a chance to, to showcase themselves how they feel they want to show themselves. And artists want to start singing upside down. Look, it's your platform. Come and sing upside down, but give us great music at the end. Let me tell you something. We, we do all these things half the time or they let us do things that they decide that they want us to do um, and this platform just gives you as an artist just the I don't know the, the, the stage just you're going yeah you, you can make mistakes during the whole thing um, you can get it back and you can like it's, it's like a jam thing and it's very refreshing so shout out to Jay uh, for putting this whole thing together. Uh, yeah, man, we about to make this shit happen. Uh, we're doing it strictly for the culture, like I always say. Every week, we live. Every week, we out here, the beautiful sunset. God coming through straight up for the boys right now. One, two, three, A, B, C. Okay, listen to this shit. Alphabet, cause I'm on top like A. Fly like a butterfly and I sting like a bee. Kill up be kill, they do the killing like a shark in the sea. Let me know that's what I'm saying, damn DBBD. I'm Katalan Pedro, you swear I'm high on that E. What you're doing, 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 what you're do
but literally we are the culture. We own our own platforms, we own the music, and we own our own rights. But you, the fan, you own the art. This is the more vulnerable side of your favorite artists. This is the Feel Good Life Sessions. We live, baby. baby, baby. Ha, 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 ha.